Hey everyone and welcome. In today's video I'm going to do a very quick intro to uh, four websites I use in adding uh, to adding in my design work. These are free resource sites where you can download some free fonts, generate some um, color palettes and download those, uh, get some free um, stock images and videos and also a editor, an online editor that has a very similar interface to Photoshop. Um, for the purpose of this video I'm just going to rush through these. Uh, I'll place all the links in the description box so you can check them out yourself, take your time, look around on, on each website and if you like it bookmark it so you can come back to it later. Um, we're going to start off with this one called the font and it has some great free fonts. Um, here are all the different categories um, if you go into one of the categories, you can actually search the font um, uh, with with the word you want to create. You know, use the font to create the word with. And under more options, I generally choose 100% free and and um, and the public domain filter. And then I go to 200 and I click on submit. Now this will find all the 100% free fonts. Here they are. You can do a quick download or you can go into the into each font and just see the different variations it provides. These are actually quite nice fonts. I've used uh, quite a few in my design work and they worked out really well. The next website is called Coolers. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What it is is a, a color plate gener uh, generator. So if you want to uh, generate a color palette you just go to generate. You can do this in a number of ways. You can upload an image from your computer. Um, upload this image and what it does now it will create a um, a palette of, uh, from, from that image. You can go down to the minimum of two or you can go, go to the full maximum amount. Then you can click on next. You can either save the palette or view the palette. What this does is gives you all the different hex numbers and RGB numbers you can plug into your editor. Another way, another way to um, uh, to um, get uh, to create a gener uh, color palette is by URL. So if you know a image URL, you can plug it in there. That'll generate one. The camera you can use your uh, webcam. Or you can search for different photos and generate colors from there as well. You can search for different um, uh, photos and the, what you what you might like. Um, you can then click on it, and what it'll do is now generate a palette for you. That's that one, guys. Uh, just take your time, look through it. Uh, the next one is called Pixels. It's a great site. It has some amazing uh, photos. And all free to use, not just photos, uh, sh very short videos as well, like this one. You can obviously do some searching uh, for what you're looking for. Uh, these are my past searches, so let's go into vintage photos, and these are all the photos from that for that uh, um, search uh, phrase. Then you click on it, and you can download. You can choose the size you want to download it in as well. That's uh, like I said. Take your time, go through it. There's some amazing phot photography in here that you can use in your design work, and they're all 100% free to use. The next one I want to show you is a quick intro to this online editor that has a very familiar uh, interface. Looks like Photoshop. Um, these are the the files you can open in in this editor. A couple of downfalls is all this um, advertising, and also because you're doing it online, the bigger the photo, uh, the more editing you add to it, the slower the sluggish it becomes. Um, I just basically use this for the very basic stuff like converting to black and white or adding and subtracting color, you know, brightening up a photo. Wherever I can't access Photoshop, I'll quickly jump on somewhere with the internet and do that. It's very simple. You go to File, Open, open up an image. Um, Within uh, within the interface, it has all the different you know um, masking layers. You can, um, all the different layers you can apply to it. The special effects, um, 
under filter there are filters that you can add to it then you can go and export and save as file and and here's a toolbar on, on the left here that you can use uh, for your photo like I said it's very similar to um, the Photoshop uh, interface um, again uh, this that's it guys um, take it go through the websites uh, you know investigate them and see if you uh, could use it um, I'm like I said I, I just wanted to point it out to you so it's, you know it's out there you could probably uh, use it for your design work in the future don't forget to comment below uh, share with us your resource sites that you use for your design work um, if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and if you uh, you know want to see more videos please consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching guys